Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with my buddy Nick. Nick and I, well Nick is almost done with the program, inches away from being done with the program. He's been in for a long time and I've known Nick for a long time. I mean, we go back to like middle school, so it's been a long time that we've known each other yeah. and um, now he's finished up the program and he saw some awesome results. So um, I'm not going to spoil the surprise or talk about his results. I'll let him do that. Uh, but he's here with us to share some of those results. So like, tell me, Nick, like, where were you at before the program before you, know, you started this whole thing? Well, it was probably, I was probably about 205 pounds, probably close to the heaviest I've ever been fluctuating probably within there within five pounds or so. But, uh, had the, the wedding coming up and knew I wanted to lose some weight for that. And I saw, honestly, I saw some pictures of myself at my sister's white coat ceremony. I'm like, gosh, this will not do. I'm not paying this much for photography and whatnot if I'm going to be looking like that. So <laughs> time to kick it into gear. You know, obviously for the health reasons too, but it's purely, you know, I just want to, the money maker going on. Right. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> hopped on and we'd obviously talked a little bit. You know, I've reached out to you about a few different um, tidbits here and there. And uh, I think it was August. We just, you know, let's, let's do it. Let's see what we can get done. And uh, the wedding was end of October. Lost about, gosh, 25 to 30 pounds over that journey, close to that area. And then obviously looking good for the wedding, end of October. And we did November, um, kind of switching it up. Obviously, I had one more month left while working with you and uh, wanted to kind of go on the path. We lost the weight. I kind of know a lot of that stuff. A lot of that was just accountability stuff and knowing the workouts, but I wanted to also know and give them the tools to start more of a uh, bodybuilding kind of thing, you know, weights and whatnot, instead of just the, the fat burning stuff. So been doing that the last month, seeing results in the arms and the chest, not as much in the butt yet, but that'll probably take a long time given my, uh, my genetics. Like I come from a long line of men with no butts, but uh, other than that, no, I mean, it's, uh, it's been, you know, we, we took some time off obviously with going out destination wedding in Colorado. I couldn't really put in the, didn't have the equipment, the time, et cetera, when I was out there, but, uh, you know, just got done celebrating Thanksgiving. So I'm, I'm a little bit weary to step on the scale tomorrow to see what everything looks like, but it's just back on the grind, obviously put in a, a lot of work. And if I can't enjoy myself over a, a Thanksgiving meal, then, you know, what's the point? Right. So gonna, <laughs> gonna get back on it, obviously here coming forward, maybe not sure what I'm going to be doing for December. If I'm going to continue on with the weightlifting or try to go back to some more of fat burning style of stuff, but it's uh, it's been a a good journey again. Started at two o five, not doing any of this work, any of this stuff. I mean, honestly, I was not drinking like enough water, not paying attention right. to my food intake, anything like that. And so right. it's just definitely been a, I guess, an eye opener. Just and right. how little I a cared. I mean, I sh I should have been caring, but it was just like eh, you know, it is what it is. I'll eat what I want to eat, and I'll I'm you know walking around and doing disc golf, but I'm working at an eight to five desk job, so. Right. Yeah, giving different regiments, blah, 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 where I could do some other stuff. And uh, pounds started falling off, you know, week right. by week. And uh, now that it's winter time, I'm going to have to be a little bit more tedious because I was getting in steps outside. We have a nice path around the, the apartment area here where I'd get some extracurricular work, work on top of the workouts. But, you know, it's uh, definitely, I'm looking at pictures of myself from even a year ago. And it's like, man. I do not look like that guy anymore. I'm so much happier with how I feel, how I look, and uh, know that it's something I'm not just, you know, wasn't just for the wedding. It's for me for long term. So it's definitely given me, I don't want to say the accountability aspect. That's obviously a big part. You texting me, water check, you know, once a day, saying, so, you know, drink your damn water, Nick. But uh, that's, it's definitely, I feel more confident in doing it and something that I'm, you know, it's not, it's not this. <clears throat> You know, there's almost almost an intimidation factor, I think, from when you haven't been doing something like that for a long time. Right. And when you have somebody else there that a, knows what they're doing, is encouraging, and is giving you the consistent tools and encouragement to just go out there and do it, and you start to see results, then it just kind of feeds in itself. So basically, what do you think was the biggest help? Like some of the things we did um, that helped you kind of feel more confident and to be more accountable and things like that throughout this whole program? Well, again, I was starting from ground zero uh, okay. as far as my workouts. You know, I'd be eating salads, but I wasn't like counting calories or macros or anything like that. And just doing, doing that, getting the know-how to how to do that and talking about different uh, dietary uh, 
factors, you know, obviously intake, increasing fat intake, lowering the carbs when we're dropping, trying to drop fat, uh, the protein, different means of getting that protein, which was, I found actually be a little more difficult than you'd think right. just because everything's goddamn sugar. Um, but, uh, just figuring out means to do that. That was a big thing. And just like the different types of workouts, you know, I've obviously, I probably pestered you and bothered you more about that than Not most of your clients, because I've been, a, I don't know. I've like, I wanted to get the tools to be able to take the, take what I've learned and continue to grow it and be confident there, you know, become an independent person, you know, see those dudes in there jacked out of their minds. I don't want to, you know, more strength to the bodybuilder <laughs> folks, but you know, I want to go in there and be able to know what I'm doing, be efficient with my time. Right. That's a big thing too. Cause you only have so many hours in a day and to go in there and get it done and just keep improving. And I definitely feel like that was something that it's, you know, you never learn at all. You're still learning. I'm sure there's different yeah. and everybody's bodies are different, right? But uh, just having the, more of a baseline knowledge and set of tools on, you know, how I can, you know, stress, like if I want to really work on my biceps or do the chest, I'll do something to, oh man, the words, I'm, I'm really letting you down teacher. The, the words to, <laughs> <You're> uh, <kidding. laughs> you know, fatigue it beforehand, you know, right. like if I'm really want to get my, my butt going, I'll do some of some exercise, focus on that. Yeah. Then I'll go into my squats and I really won't be able to do as much weight, but it's going to help it. Um, just attack that area more. So stuff like that, um, I think has been big, but again, I mean, it's just the, the accountability and not taking away the intimidation factor, right? You know, that that's something, you know, I didn't, I played basketball in high school for three years. Didn't do much. I was, I was a violin dork. I you know, still am, but, uh, just kind of that kind of stuff, just going out there and doing it. And also, you know, once you see it, it's kind of, you feel good about it too. So right. I think that's, it's just that nudge. And that support was probably the biggest thing. And all, I mean, just the general tools. Like I have the means now to, I, I know more so what I'm eating, how I can kind of adjust with that stuff I can attack just to get to different areas where I want to go week by week, month by month. Right, right. And so I think you kind of touched on it before as far as your results, but um, what were the results? That, I guess when you said, when you, when you saw it, it became like more real to you, what you just said. Like, what were the results that you saw that you were maybe like surprised about or that you um, were most excited to to see once we started the program? I mean, I guess just the fat melting off. Right. Honestly, like it, it came off much quicker than I thought it would. Obviously, that's kind of going to happen at the beginning and it'll slow down a little bit. Right. But at the beginning there, I was losing, you know, four pounds a week. And that was with heavy water intake and, right. you know, not not totally restricting calories. You know, I would still go out and have a new England IPA, which is like 250 calories or something Cold ridiculous for, and, uh, for a beer, yeah. but a new England one, like high calorie. We're not talking Michelob ultra, but, uh, it's too tasty. Um, but still able to do stuff like that and understanding, you know, when you do that, how you can kind of build your, your calories the day, the day before the day after around doing something like that and workouts as well, kind of around doing something like that. So that's a, that was a big thing obviously as well. And just going in there and, you know, really starting to just kind of, love the process of it right. more and more specifically. I don't know if it's because it's not as uh, exhausting in the moment where you're not like out of breath, but I'm enjoying the, the weightlifting more than the, the circuits where, <laughs> right. you know, go to AMRAP 12 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sounds <laughs> by that 11th minute, you're not loving your life, but uh, no, Post just, selfies were classic at that point in time though. Oh yeah. Just beat red, just dripping <laughs> sweat. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. That's awesome. So, um, <laughs> As far as all that, like, what would you tell somebody who is um, thinking about doing the program, but hasn't fully jumped in? Um, what would you tell them as far as um, your experience and what they should do? Well, I think the biggest thing is, obviously, once you make that commitment, you need to make that commitment. You know, like if you don't want to be wasting not only your time, your finances, but as, as in the customer or the person getting in the program, but yours as well. I mean, you're going to get in as much as you put in. Right. So that's, you know, that's what the eating, that's what the workouts, if you're going in there, I mean, even just within the individual workout, if you're going in there and half-assing it, you're probably not going to see the results. And that's something that you can't really, you're not going to see the results that you want if you're doing that. And when you're a virtual client, like I am, or a satellite client, whatever you call somebody who's not, you know, face-to-face -face working with you, then it's, it's easier to loaf off you know, like, ah, oh, I got to get going or I got to start a load of laundry, start dinner, blah, blah, blah. I think that's the, one of the bigger things. If you're, if you're thinking about doing this, you 
once you do it, I feel like you're probably all in, but that's, I think you're going to get in as much as you put in. Right. Right. I hear you, man. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate all that. And I think that you gave uh, a lot of good information. You really put forth a lot of effort and you saw awesome results to show that. And uh, yeah. the wedding photos look pretty stellar. Looked like a yeah. pretty, pretty grandiose mountain behind you guys. I was kind of jealous that I was on top of the mountain screaming or something like that. But yeah, uh... <laughs> maybe, maybe, this, maybe this summer we'll probably do some more backpacking and at least some hard trails this summer. But uh, that's another thing, you know, obviously, I'd, I'd, not obviously to the listener, but to you went on a backpacking trip, you know, two summers ago. And that was definitely something I did not uh, prepare physically for, like I would have liked to in hindsight, you know, just kind of uh, naive going into it. Like, wow, this is a lot freaking harder than I thought it would be. You know, it's, it's walking. You just keep walking until you stop but when you're carrying stuff in different terrain and 40 pounds of stuff and sleeping on the ground that day. It's, it's, that can kind of kick your butt. So being in better shape with stuff like that. Cause I mean, it's gorgeous. You, you absolutely love it. I mean, right. Yeah, I mean, sure. You, I'm sure you'd love it too. You, you know, just ran a marathon or a Boy Scout, you'd be probably three sheets <laughs> to the wind. But uh, that's uh, just saying? stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I would if I could help it. I like people, but I think sometimes I'll take the trees. I hear you. I hear you. Well, uh, yeah. we're gonna. I'm gonna stop this thing real quick. But uh, thanks for giving so much good information, my friend. And uh, I think it really helped a lot of people. So I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. I guess the last thing I'll say is, you know, guys, Guzzo's been doing this for a bit. And he's very encouraging, obviously. And if you have any questions, you know, don't feel like it's a dumb question. I feel like I asked him probably the same thing a few different times in different ways, just trying to grow my knowledge base or just different means to get protein. But if you, you know, again, take what he says and apply it and do the best you can, you know, don't cut corners, whether that be diet wise, water intake, which is a big one, which I need to get back on better after the wedding, which I've not been as, I have not been getting, I was getting like 120 ounces a day before the wedding. Now I'm probably like 80, which is not enough, but, uh, you know, fully go in and you will see results and you'll be happy with it. And you'll be given the means to live a healthier lifestyle going forward. And that just has a trickle down effect on so many things. So I think that's the, the biggest thing. And I thank you as well, you know, for helping me through this. And obviously, again, I came in a little intimidated, but you, we kind of had it back and forth and eventually I just said, F it, you know, I, I need to, I need to put in the work and I need to make a change. And here we are. And it's just, I mean, it's just, we were, what are we, four months past when we started, but we did three and a half months, but it, I, it feels like it's still the beginning, you know, it's just the beginning of this health journey, but definitely the, the kick in the rump that I needed to get off the starting line. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.